There's no denying that 2D and 3D art share a lot of common things. But what makes 3D different from 2D art is the presence of depth. You see, in 3D software, you have a 3D space with the X, Y, and Z axes. This means that when you model in 3D, you have to carefully match proportions and perspective across all three dimensions, which means getting the scale, depth, and angles right for everything to align in a way that feels believable from every possible view. But as you know, doing this alone is a tricky process, which often leaves us frustrated sometimes and feeling like it is almost impossible to do so. But well, there is an easier way with this software called FSPY. So what is it and why you should consider using it? But before we continue, I want to let you guys know that the Blender market is going over a huge winter sale right now, with 25% off thousands of products from add-ons, modifier setups, courses, and more. And by the way, if you don't know where to start, I have in the description of this video a list of some of the best Blender add-ons out there. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Long story short, FSPY is a free and open source software that matches the camera perspective of images. I know that might sound a bit intimidating to some artists, but honestly, when you break it down, the idea behind FSPY is actually very simple. All you need to do is grab a photo, drag some lines, and the software will figure out, or let's say, estimate details about the camera, such as the focal length, distance from the object, where the shot was taken from, the angle, position, and so on. Then, it creates a 3D camera based on that, which you can import into software like Blender or Maya to easily recreate the scene, instead of stressing over the angle yourself, but more on that later. This software was created by an artist and an engineer who goes by the name of Stephmatic Online, and the story all started with Black, a Blender plugin that he made to figure out camera settings for a photo he shot with a camera lens he borrowed from a friend. However, the blind interface was clunky and awkward, so he decided to create a standalone app with a cleaner, more intuitive design, which was motivated by how popular Blime has gotten and the fact that, back then, there wasn't really a free or open source app like that. FSPY is a software that I have a soft spot for. I mean, imagine you finally land a new gig where a client wants you to model some sci-fi buildings for their Subnautica-inspired video games. The project sounds exciting, but there is just one little problem. The sketches the client provided were drawn from an angle, and he was very insistent on achieving that exact proportion of the designs. Now, when you are modeling from a reference image, the last thing you want to deal with is an image taken from an angle, because the perspective can make objects look, well, distorted. Things closer to the camera will look larger, while parts further away from the camera will appear smaller or squished, and this makes it difficult to get accurate proportions and shapes. Sometimes you can eyeball it and guess the proportions, but this can be tricky, depending on the design, because definitely sometimes you cannot get away with it such as in architectural rendering, 3D printing, or when creating game assets that need to fit directly within an existing environment. You see, FSPY calculates the approximate focal length, orientation, and position of the camera in the 3D space based on user-defined control points in still images, using what is known as vanishing points. But before we get into that, first things first. It is important to understand that the software will only work with images taken from a perspective camera, and they won't work with anything from an orthographic view, or at least this is the idea, because for the software to work, it needs images with perspective distortion, which is the visual effect that happens when objects change shape, size, or proportion due to the angle or distance from the viewer. This distortion is what makes it possible for the software to interpret the camera's position and orientation. In contrast, an orthographic view displays objects without perspective distortion, meaning everything remains the same size and shape regardless of the distance or the angle, which doesn't provide the necessary information for FSPY that it can properly work with. 
And by the way, a vanishing point is a term that was introduced by Brock Taylor, a mathematician best known for several achievements in mathematical analysis. And in art and geometry, it is the spot in a drawing or a photo where two or more parallel lines seem to be vanishing together into one point at a distance. But in reality, these lines, like the edges of a straight road or the railroad tracks, remain at the same distance from each other, but they just stretch into the horizon at one point and the end. I mean from the perspective of the viewer. This is the case because our eyes perceive depth different than reality. They create the illusion that the lines will meet at a single point in the image, which is called the vanishing point. FSpy actually uses the same concept of vanishing points to estimate camera parameters. As a start, you have to take a moment to identify the vanishing points in your image. And just so you know, it doesn't have to be in the center. It can be actually anywhere depending on the perspective, and once you got that, you can hop into the software, which is very minimalistic. It has a small simple menu, where you can pick the number of vanishing points that you are targeting, because an image can have many, one for each axis. Then, draw lines that align with the lines in the image that lead to it. You can even choose your vanishing points manually, and change their position and axis to fit the perspective that you are working with. And there is a 3D grid that shows you how accurate the alignment is. After that, it is just a matter of editing and fine-tuning until everything lines up perfectly. And you can change elements such as the reference distance or using a custom camera sensor and focal length. To address the elephant in the room, the larger the angle between the line segments, the better. And if an image doesn't have the vanishing point, it can be a bit tricky. Although I always suggest trying, as it might work in some cases. For example, by just choosing parallel lines or those that are close enough. Besides, the software only works with perspective images that were made through the processes similar to the pinhole camera. To make it less confusing, it includes, for example, photos taken with regular, distortion-free lenses and 3D images rendered with a perspective camera. As a side note, it may not work with photos taken with lenses that have severe distortions such as fisheye lenses or with images whose natural perspective has been altered or manipulated, as well as stitch panorama images and, of course, images from orthographic cameras which are typically 3D renders. Now, what are the best use cases for FSpy? You see, traditionally FSpy is used to build photo references in 3D by modeling them, because, as I mentioned before, modeling from an image reference with perspective can be a nightmare. For example, if you add a cube normally, you would likely place it and rotate it based on visual estimation to match the original photo. However, with FSpy, when you add a cube, it aligns accurately to the image's proportions, making the cube appear as though it naturally fits into the scene, with the same direction, scale, and rotation as the original image. But the sky is the limit here, and you can use the generate data from FSpy for anything really. For example, keeping the original reference and adding VFX elements, viral product animations, and so on. But is FSpy really enough? Which means, is it good enough since it is a free software? Or are there better alternatives? And to be honest, this is a bit tricky. In the grand scheme of things, there are many tools available for that, from video tracking to match moving to scene reconstruction, with more complexities and advanced options such as PF Track and Synthize as well as built-in tools with programs such as Max or Nuke. While it is technically possible to recreate what FSpy does with other tools, they are actually more difficult and harder to learn. And for recreating a camera perspective from images, I find FSpy to perform this task remarkably well, and the good news, it is easy to learn, especially if you understand how to use it properly. However, if you need more advanced tools, it may fall short in comparison. For Blender users, you can find similar tools and add-ons like Perspective Plotter, and since FSpy is a standalone software, using an add-on can be a bit easier, but FSpy on its own can still accomplish the task. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, you can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.